All right, welcome. Um, going to talk about Appendix N of the Dungeon Master's Guide today. Dungeon Master's Guide, original Advanced Dungeons and Dragons Dungeon Master's Guide features Appendix N, which lists suggested reading of various um, inspirational materials. Inspiration for all the fantasy work that I have done stems directly from the love my father showed when I was a lad, where he spent many hours telling me stories he made up as he went along, tales of cloaked old men who could grant wishes, of magic rings and enchanted swords, or wicked sorcerers and dauntless swordsmen. Uh, Gary Gygax wrote this as the Appendix N in the Dungeon Master's Guide, and recently, um, Appendix N, the Eldritch Roots of the Dungeon Master, uh, I found this at a um, bookstore recently. Let's see, I'm not sure the exact date it came out, uh, looks like 2020. So these are the collected works of several of these recommendations, and there are several recommendations in here. And uh, these recommendations are also here. Now, this is kind of an interesting book itself. It's set up, there's a map, on both the front and the back. And that map actually corresponds to the, uh, to the various stories that are in there. There are 17 stories. And there are a total of 17 passages in that map, including a secret passage and um, a secret uh, room or a secret chamber. And this is interesting, too, here, because it's actually set up as Dungeon Module GG1. Gary Gygax, obviously. Descent into the Temple of Appendix N, an adventure for characters levels 1 to 4. And it's got the little text up here for the flavor text and the notes for the dungeon master only. Uh, when the adventurers first arrive in the village, they already hear whispers of the strange and terrible happenings in the ruins of the nearby hills. They learn from the villagers of a rumor that after a recent earthquake, a hole opened revealing a previously unknown passage into a lost and buried temple that many believe is filled with great treasure. Okay, so there's your little flavor text there. And of course, notes for the Dungeon Master basically tells you about who you're going to meet in the book. Uh, the Swordsman, Ryer, Conan, uh, Fafred and the Great Mauser, uh, Syrian, the Lost City of Atlantis, uh, Viking Hawk. Uh, there's various other creatures and so forth in, in, in the book. Uh, after the quite interesting... Uh, forward there. You actually get to the books themselves. And like I say, they're broken up into the upper level. The key to the upper level, secret chamber, lower level, and the secret passage. And then there's some afterwards, notes on the stories, and so forth. Uh, very interesting, fun little, fun book. Um, obviously, you don't have to read them in the order recommended, but you can. And like I said, the entries actually correspond to the map. So number one here is the passageway that enters in, which of course corresponds to how Sargoth lay siege to Zaraman by Lynn Carter, which takes you right into number two, The Tale of Hauk by Powell Anderson. A little bit of trail right there. Finally you come into ooh, number three, looks like a more of a finished um, room there. Jewels in the Forest by Fritz Lieber. And then from there, apparently you have choices. You can go this way or this way or this way north or south or east and uh, take leading to, to route chamber seven six or if you go east you can you know fight the complicated little map there uh, which of course all leads to various stories so it's you can read these stories in any order you don't have to read them one after the other they're not uh, they don't really go together as far as that's concerned it's more of just a fun little way of laying out the book, which I thought was kind of a neat idea to lay out the book that way. Because especially with that old blue um, background, really reminiscent of the old uh, modules, which all had that blue map in them. So that's kind of fun. Um, of course, each of the stories are, are all there. They're, they're complete uh, copies of the stories, all the short stories, of course. And 
For example, page 185, the Lovecraft story, the doom that came to Sarnoff. Uh, the whole thing is here. It doesn't give you any more introduction or any other information on it. It just gives you the story itself. So the kind of the game theme kind of ends there. But you definitely could use this map if you wanted to and have each section be kind of uh, themed if you wanted to have your own little adventure based upon this uh, book and have just your um, players can encounter the various uh, central ideas to the story, uh, the hero to the story, or the creature, the villain of the story, or something in each of these rooms if you wanted to. Or you could use this map just for whatever, because it's kind of a fun map. It's definitely a more of a linear type map. But like I said, there are definitely some branches and some, and some offshoots on this map. Um, so... Just, yeah, it's just kind of a fun little, it's by Strange Attractor Press. Uh, I can't get it said. It did come out in 2020. And, um, yeah, it's just kind of a fun, fun little uh, um, book. It's got the Sword of Dragons, Frank Runer, which, of course, is a uh, more of a graphic comic type of story. And then, finally, the afterword. Um, and it kind of gives you the... It's kind of the same information that uh, the inspiration about why this is this book exists and tells us a little bit about the uh, person who wrote the afterward. But uh, the notes on the stories themselves is uh, that they were reprinted by permission as as necessary. So they're not going to have one of those uh, issues there where someone's going to come and claim that they did not have permission later because they do have all of that set up right there. That's, of course, a uh, uh, reference to the old uh, Deities and Demigods book, which apparently there is some question about whether or not they really truly had permission to some of the properties that they included in the original version of that book. And, of course, they do have the original uh, suggested reading that's the same as what's in the Dungeon Master's Guide in the back of the book, finally, an acknowledgement section. So, yeah, overall, yeah, really good. If you haven't read, these stories before or haven't read these authors before um excellent um inspiration ideas and excellent uh um just to have those all together right that great little quick read most of them um you could probably read each of those little stories in 10 20 minutes i mean some of them are, are literally four or five pages long so so they're not like they're long stories, a lot of them. There are some longer ones in there, but there's nothing that's uh, super long. So there's, like I said, quite a few of them. And there's 17 stories in there, and the book itself is, uh, looks like probably 327. So 326 is the stories themselves, page 3 to 326. So not a very long, and it's got 17 um, stories in there. So yeah, uh, just a, kind of a fun little thing I picked up. Um, so... If you've never read these authors, I would highly recommend it. That's all for today. Thanks. Uh, give the like button a hit there and the bell icon and subscribe and all that fun stuff. Thanks. Bye.